pastor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The only righteous person was the pastor. The rest was not, including the pastor's wife. She was not righteous. Why? Because they left the prophet. When you leave the prophet, we are talking about what happens when a man leaves the prophet. When you leave the prophet, you find yourself in Sodom. Where you are preaching glamour more than the word of God. Where you are preaching riches more than the word of God. That is the doctrine of Lotites. The prophet, go and Google Lotites, you will see it. They are what we call Lotites. I told you, go and search. I'm still waiting for one person. It's also in the airwaves. I'm still waiting for one message from 47 to 65 where Brother Branham is doing motivational speaking. One. Give me one. Where you say, ah, here we're being showered from start to finish. You will not find it. It's not a candy man. God did not call a candy man to come and receive. You are a champion. You are going out. You are going to have a new spring. You, no, no, no. No, no, no. You can see they are trying to force Brother Branham to say, I'm going to preach a message taking the prophet where he has never been. I'm talking about people that will take him and make him say things he never said. Because they are cutting it out of context. The emphasis that they are emphasizing is not the emphasis that he spoke it with. Certain things are never spoken in the same line. You choose to go and take the part that says he spoke out of the, the tumor out of mid. But how did the tumor get there first? Why are you neglecting that part? The part of disobedience. Kwashioka, kwashioka. And balanced believers. People that are coming to church to seek money, they think now having money is a sign of Christian. It's not. It's not. Until brothers are crooks. They are crooks because the, the pastor has preached the standard of money and courtship so high. Until no young man can get in courtship because he wants to prove they don't even pay tithes and they try to wear judge your monies. He's having a tattered Bible. A Bible that you can't even see. With, is this new IV or is this King James? But all he's talking about, I cleanse the deal for 12,000. To hell with your deal of 12,000. You need the Holy Ghost. That's why. That's why Simon the sorcerer, when he came to the disciples and he wanted the Holy Ghost, he knew there's people, they've got something genuine and you know it. But he didn't want, his heart was not in the gospel. He thought he could take out runs and give to Peter. And Peter says, thy money, thy money perish with you. Because you thought the gift of God could be bought by money and your heart is not in the right place. What God wants is your heart. Where is your heart? The gift of God cannot be bought by money, by glamour. That's why I don't choose officers based on how much tithes you pay. I don't choose officers based on what kind of suit you wear. I choose officers based on the spirit of God that is in them. You can stay in them cuckoo. You can have no shoes. But if you have the spirit of God, you qualify. Money does not qualify a man. What qualifies a man is the spirit of God. It's the baptism of the Holy Ghost right in the cavity of their soul. Watch the demons, the rich men that want to control the ministry and push it. No say. That's why we stand steadfast. I'm an architect and I still work up to today. I still do my own projects. I don't wait for nobody. If you don't pay, I still live. Because that's one thing I told myself getting into ministry. I will not allow anybody to control me or to influence me to preach what they feel is right. That's why I look at no man's face. I don't look at their faces like Jeremiah. I look not at their faces. I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Same as somebody. These Mickey Mouse preachers. Somebody who has failed in his education. 
Somebody who is waiting for people's money comes here, tries to preach, ends up compromising. We knew what you believed. Ten years ago, we knew what you believed. Today, you have lowered the standards. For what? For what? For who? Come on, saints. Let's go back to the order of the word. Let's go back to what William Branham said. You left the prophets. You left the prophets. You are going over the doctrines of Sodom. Hallelujah. The doctrines of the denominations. The doctrines of Billy Graham and Oral Roberts. The preachers of Sodom. That's why message preachers are taking inspiration from internet preachers. T.D. Jakes, Benny Hinn. What is that? My inspiration is William Marion Branham. And that inspiration stays fresh. Same as somebody.